All right, the third year of the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix yielded the fewest amount of caution flags yet, and that made for a relatively clean, efficient race downtown on an absolutely beautiful afternoon in Nashville. IndyCar fans lucked out after the rain messed with their schedule on Saturday. Things got going today on time, though, no problem. However, 13 laps in, David Malukas has a problem. Look at that rear wing. It just comes off. Can't say that we've seen that a ton, and yeah, that's an issue. His day would be finished in the early going. Joseph Newgarden ran a strong race. He started ninth, ended up fourth. His best finish in Nashville. He just couldn't find a way to get out in front. Now, off a restart with six laps to go, there's some tr trouble around a turn. Four cars get caught up in it. They'd red flag the race to clear the track, but man, when they got going again, Kyle Kirkwood was out in front, and this man stayed out in front. He was the beneficiary of others pitting a couple of times during the race, and he timed his pit stops perfectly. Kirkwood ends up leading for 34 of the 80 laps. Yeah, Kyle Kirkwood takes the checkered flag to win the Big Machine Music City Grand Prix. Man, what a phenomenal race for our crew. We, we uh, did everything right. We started eighth, got a couple positions on the start, but got most of our positions in strategy and pit stop. So hats off to the 27 Auto Nation Honda crew. All the talk all week was trying to figure out the chaos and avoiding the chaos. How did you guys do it? Uh, you know, it's hard. It's hard to do it. And when you're at the front, it's a lot easier. So, I mean, the first thing is to get there and then you kind of get some clear track and people tend to not race you as hard because they know that they're at the front. So, yeah, we, we just nailed everything today. You got a red with five to go and you guys are waiting. What's going through your head as you're going to be off the lead on the restart as you think you just got to hold on to this? Thing? Yeah, man, just hold on to it. It's, it's exactly what it is. You know, I was calm. I was super calm in the car. Uh, I was a bit annoyed, to be honest, because I'm just like, we're here, let's just finish this thing, you know? It's just more time that things can go wrong. Um, whenever you're at the front, that's always the case, right? You're like 30 laps to go, and you're like, all right, just finish it now. Um, but obviously that's not the case, and we had the red flag, so we had to overcome that adversity. Um, but everyone stayed calm. We led the, the entire end. We pulled a big gap in the beginning. They ran us down at the end, but uh, we, we held off for the win. What do you do tonight to celebrate? Uh, <laughs> it's a good question. I'm, I'm not sure yet. I think... Uh, my, uh, my one of my best friends and teammate, Colton Herta, lives around here, so I might end up at his. Big party at Herta's house tonight. As for Newgarden, I mentioned he finished fourth today. He remains in second place in the overall standings, 84 points now behind Alex Pillow with four races to go. I felt like we ran a really good race. You know, there was a little more opportunity that just didn't materialize in the beginning. Um, you know, typical street course stuff. You get used up a little bit at times. Um, it's just what we always see, you know, it gets, gets tight, as everybody knows. I think we can leave here pretty, you know, pretty happy, but um, just wishing we had a little more. All right, here's the list of the top five from today. Points leader Alex Pillow gets on the podium again, and last year's winner, Scott Dixon, ends up finishing fifth. And don't forget, this was the final iteration of this race as we know it. Next year, the course moves into downtown with part of the race coming up Broadway and then finishing on 4th Avenue in front of the Skirmer.